audio jungle. Vertical controls are used to position and scale the waveform vertically, set the input coupling, and adjust other signal conditions. The vertical position control allows you to move the waveform up and down so it's exactly where you want it on the screen. We can also drag the waveform directly to change the vertical position of the waveform. The world's pro diversion setting is a scaling factor that varies the size of the waveform on the screen. For example, if the world's pro diversion setting is 1 world, then each of the 10 vertical diversions represents 1 world, and the entire screen can show 10 worlds from bottom to top. If the setting is 2 worlds per diversion, the screen can display 20 worlds from bottom to top, and so on. The maximum voltage you can display on the screen is the world's per diversion setting times the number of vertical diversions. Tap the channel icon to open the channel menu, which includes channel waveform inversion, channel coupling model, probe type, probe attenuation factor, channel bandwidth limit, and vertical expansion reference. Most oscilloscopes have an invert function that allows you to display a signal upside down. That is, with low voltage at the top of the screen and high voltage at the bottom. Coupling means the method used to connect an electrical signal from one circuit to another. In this case, the input coupling is the connection from your test circuit to the oscilloscope. The coupling can be set to DC, AC, or ground. DC coupling shows all of an input signal. AC coupling blocks the DC component of a signal so that you can see the waveform centered at zero volts. The AC coupling setting is handy when the entire signal is too large for the voltage per diversion setting. The ground setting disconnects the input signal from the vertical system, which lets you see where zero world is on the screen. With the grounded input coupling and auto triangle model, you see a horizontal line on the screen that represents zero world. And also don't forget to set the probe type and attenuation coefficient according to your probe. When measuring with the probe, the correct measurement readout can only be obtained by setting the correct probe attenuation ratio. When probe attenuation ratio is changed, the corresponding attenuation ratio must be set on the channel menu to ensure the correctness of the waveform amplitude and measurement result displayed by the oscilloscope. Now let's see these bandwidth selection box, which could limit the bandwidth of the oscilloscope. Full bandwidth allows signals of all frequencies to pass. 20 mega bandwidth means only signals with frequencies below 20 MHz are allowed to pass, and signals above 20 MHz are effectively attenuated. High pass means only signals above the lower limit of the currently set frequency are allowed to pass. Type MHz and kHz to select the frequency scale. Drag or type the slide bar for cause adjustment of the maximum frequency allowed to pass. Type plus minus buttons to precisely adjust the frequency. Low pass means only signals below the currently set frequency upper limit are allowed to pass. By limiting the bandwidth, we reduce the noise that sometimes appears on the displayed waveform, resulting in a clear signal display. The last is vertical expansion reference. Click the center, the oscilloscope waveform will be expanded with the screen center as a reference. Select the zero, the oscilloscope waveform is expanded with the waveform zero point as a reference.